to another episode of Australian Migration for You. We have the registered migration agent Ashad Ferreira to talk about the new visa called Global Talent Visa. Hi Ashad. How are you, Hishan? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, good. There's a new visa called Global Talent Visa. What is this visa and what are the, can you ex explain the main features of this visa, Ashad? Yes, Session, you know, this uh, Global Talent uh, Program was, uh, we had a Global Talent Visa before. Now that visa was uh, like uh, very talented uh, people who have really uh, uh, performed very well in their sports or some uh, talented different areas. But this area is not a sponsored visa. This, uh, this new uh, stream was introduced later part of last year to independently attract some very high skill individuals from all over the world. So it was the government intention that Australia really need certain very high skill individuals to develop selected industries, selected areas. So this stream was introduced to attract those highly talented people. So actually they went on to uh, uh, they went on to identify certain key areas, the agriculture technology, uh, finance technology, the media, medical technology, uh, cyber security on the computer side, then the energy and mining, uh, space and uh, advanced manufacturing, and con quantum uh, information. Now, those are the only areas of professionals or individuals who can attract high-scale salaries uh, currently, it's a, it varies every year, but currently it's over slightly over hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If they can attract that sort of salary, or if you are a recent PhD graduate or a master of research you have done and you have performed well uh, in your degree in your PhD, uh, you have got high ranking. Those people are able to apply for this visa. So, Ashad, how is this visa differentiated from other skilled and uh, employment visas? So, this is, uh, this is a very important question because, you know, most of these other visas, whether it's uh, if you take a skill visa, uh, like uh, normal independent skill under general skill migration, it's quite, uh, you need to get, uh, cert you need to meet certain criteria like the English criteria, you have to get your skills assessed. Now, there is no point test in this uh, uh, visa. And the English threshold they are looking for is uh, very, also very, very uh, low. And uh, this uh, visa gets uh, priority processing. That means we have seen cases where within weeks or um, within a month period maximum, this visa get uh, granted. So, and there is also like unlike the employment visa, you don't need really an employer or another organization to sponsor you. This is that is why this is called an independent program. So you, as long as the Australian government is satisfied based on your resume and based on the work that you have done in the past, based on the studies that you have in the pa past, that you fall into this talented category. So then they will approve your nomination without actually an employer or an or a organization sponsoring you. But there is a requirement that somebody, Australian citizen or Australian permanent resident, has to support, the, support you or ideally some organization. But it, it is not really a sponsorship. It's, a, it's a supporting your resume, supporting your uh, past experience to say that you are worth uh, considering for this program. Okay, so what are the key benefits the applicants can receive by applying this global talent visa? So this is a direct uh, permanent residency visa. As I said, the applications get processed pretty quickly and you will get your uh, permanent residency within a very short period of time. And also it's priority process, so uh, uh, you are also eligible to access your Medicare, your children get the normal schooling. Sometimes you can also access some of the university programs. It's all, of course, depends on the state to state. But uh, there will be 
uh, Commonwealth places available for uh, your children in the universities, Commonwealth funded places. So, so it's pretty good uh, visa to get in. But as I said uh, at the beginning, this visa is really meant for people who are talented, people who have got gone extra mile to do their studies, people who have really performed well in their studies, and people who can attract higher income. If you are currently employed in Australia, they at least expect your salaries to be 140, 150,000. It doesn't necessarily be that your salary has to be that, but you have to show to the government that your education, your experience, you are able to attract that kind of salary in the Australian working environment. Thank you, Ashad. Hope uh, the main points we discuss about this global talent visa is really important to you. So if you need to get more details and process your application, you can contact the registered migration agent, Ashad Pereira. Uh, do you have something else, anything else to add for this program about uh, the global talent visa? Ishani, yes, as I mentioned, this is an Australian government key initiative to get the global talent people to Australia. So my advice is if you are currently pursuing any PhD studies in Australia and uh, if you are a high performing student, if you are able to get very good marks for your studies, PhD studies, try and get those marks and once you complete uh, because this is available for recent graduates only. So once you complete your PhD, once your qualifications are out, do consult a migration consultant and see whether you will be eligible for this visa. Thank you, Ashad. Thank you for joining with us today. Uh, hope to do a more important uh, migration and education discussions with you. Thanks, Ashani. Thanks, Vishwaini, for having me for this session. Thank you. Wishing you all a good day. Thank you.